I'm going to show you how to check the balance of any Solana address uh, using the blockchain API. So, um, first, so you can do this in any coding language because it's an API. And that's the idea to make it really flexible to do sort of key functions on Solana. So if you go here and you click get wallets balance, um, so first, yeah, you go to docs at the blockchain api.com, you go to Solana wallet, get wallets balance. Um, we'll just use, so, so yeah, so this is pretty straightforward. So you can either um, supply, first you have to supply the public key of the account for which you want to get the balance. And then you have to supply which network, the devnet or mainnet beta um, for, uh, yeah, so, you know, devnet's where you develop, mainnet's the main thing, uh, and then the unit that you want to use. So the default's the LAM port. So there's like a like 100 million or billion LAM ports uh, in one soul. And uh, yeah, or you can set it to just soul. So uh, you can do it in any coding language because it's an API, but we're gonna use Python because there's a specific wrapper for it. So it just makes it a little easy. And uh, one other thing, in addition to this, you have to put, supply your API keys in the headers. So you can get one here. Um, just click create new key. And you have that here. So now that we have that, let's uh, let's look at this Python example here for the get balance, get wallet balance endpoint. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's pretty straightforward. Here it creates a new wallet and it gets the uh, gets the balance of that wallet. So let's uh, let's sort of just write our own. Um, so if you didn't already, just I already installed it, but pip install the blockchain API. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so first from the blockchain API import the blockchain API research, uh, resource and the currency unit, and we'll uh, so let's sort of follow that example. So first, you want to initialize the resource uh, with the uh, with the headings. Oops. I mean the headers that we the, that we need, so that we can properly authenticate the API. Okay, now we can basically call all these functions. So we can let's do the new wallet. So it should have a balance of zero. And let's do it in Soul. All right, let's run this. Great, zero, just like we expected. So let's use this this wallet I have over here. Um, so it has 0 0.0236 soul in it. Um, so instead of creating a new one, we're just going to use this one. Okay, and so you see that this is 3.78 soul, so it's more. That's because it's on the devnet. So what I just showed you was the mainnet. So we can go up here and say, There you go. And then if we uh, change this to LAM port, yep, so now you see the balances in LAM ports. Um, great, so that's pretty much uh, all there is to getting the balance. Um, you can uh, you know, pretty easily do this in any coding language. It's designed to be predictable, stable, that sort of thing. So thanks so much for, for listening, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments.